Duck Hunt was released in 1984 for the Famicom in Japan and a year later as a launch title for the NES in North America. It required the NES Zapper Light Gun, which was included with the bundle pack that featured the NES itself, a 2-in-1 pack-in cartridge of Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt, plus the gun. It's very basic. Your job is to shoot down the ducks that fly about the screen, and hit the quota for each round in order to pass on to the next one. There are three different modes to select. In game A, there's one duck on the screen at a time, game B there's two at a time, and game C is clay pigeon shooting. You get three bullets per sitting in all three modes. If you run out of bullets, or if you take too long, the duck or ducks fly away, and if you don't hit any ducks at all in said sitting, your asshole dog that chases the ducks into the sky will laugh at you. Even when you do kill the ducks, he's kind of a douche. He has this look on his face like, hey, you actually got one. I don't share the disdain many people have against this dog. In reality, it's a pretty stupid impulse to allow an 8-bit mutt to get under your skin because you missed your targets in a virtual shooting game. But I've been a victim of it too. He's obnoxious as all hell. As you advance through the game, the difficulty increases as the ducks get faster, and your minimum quota per stage gets bumped up from time to time. Clay shooting is similar to the other two modes in terms of the format. Three bullets per sitting, hit your quota, and move on to the next round. But here you've got clay pigeons that shoot off into the distance, and there are always two at a time. This is also a sanctuary if you feel bad about killing these virtual 8-bit animals. Although good luck in not wanting to shoot the dog during a heat of the moment bout of frustration. It's a good thing they don't deduct bullets for trying that shit. There's not a lot to speak of graphically, there are only two screens, the duck screen and the clay screen. Neither of them change, and they're both pretty plain, although this is an NES launch title. And a lot of these games at that time had limited screens that never scrolled, so it is what it is. The difficulty of the game really depends on how far away from the screen you stand. So if you want to compete with someone and offer a handicap, there's your method. You'll have to alternate after a game over though. There's no real two-player mode, which would have been great for a simultaneous co-op or competition. Would have given a whole new element to the game, but that would also require a second light zapper. There is kinda, sort of, a two-player mode in a sense, but it only applies in game A, where another player can control the movement of the duck with the control pad. There's no way in hell Duck Hunt would be as big a nostalgia piece as it is had it not been for its association with Mario, but to no fault of its own, that's how it turned out. And as limited and repetitive as the game is, in the end, it's still good for exactly what it was meant to be, a quick little arcade shooter. And that wraps up this edition of Aqualung's Game Reviews. See you next time.